Well, this is our final campground review for 2022, but it does not wrap up our Oregon coast. We still have one now, for the Oregon one coast. One more after this. Yeah, but it was in the next but year. But it was in 2023. Yeah. And we're going to start our 2023s. Coming up soon. Coming up soon. Yeah. Well, we did a lot here. We were here actually from the mid-November all the way till the first week of January. And we celebrated Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And your birthday. And my birthday at this RV park. At this RV park. So we did a lot. <laughs> and so there was a bunch of stuff going on here. We're going to move through this pretty quickly. So the location of this was in North Bend, Coos Bay, Oregon. Yes. Yeah. And there's a really interesting little sign coming into North Bend because you've got a nice little neon sign, beautiful trees. We'll put a photo of that. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, you know what? How did we use RV Trip Wizard to get to this one? Well, you know, I think I had heard about this RV park mm -hmm. um, through just research that I typically do. But then, but again, I did use RV Trip Wizard to kind of figure out how far it was from our previous stop. If you saw that video, we were in Lincoln City prior to this. Yeah. Um, so again, trying to always find something within about a 300 mile or um, three hour drive. And, and so this fit the bill. And, and again, I had heard some, some positive um, reviews and feedback on this particular location. Yeah, yeah. Now what's interesting about it is, you know, it, it was called the Mill Casino and RV Park. And it is literally right next door to a mill and a casino. <laughs> Hence the name. Yeah, so some nearby attractions for this one. Um, there was the city museum that we actually went to a farm, not a farmer's market, but a, uh, uh, like a, a Christmas market. It was a, yeah. We went to like a, a Christmas craft, market. Christmas craft market. Or yes. Something. Yeah. yeah. There's state parks, lighthouses. Uh, the Oregon Dunes. Did you know Oregon had dunes? I didn't even know <laughs> we that. We didn't know that. Yeah. So. Um, we went to Florence and Bandon, uh, Coos yeah. Bay Art Museum. Uh, they have actually a Wednesday market, which is quite nice, which is their farmer's market. We went to that a couple of times. Uh, we talked about the holiday market. And yeah. They, and they had the uh, the food truck. Um, yes. They had a little food truck. Um, yeah. Court or uh, it was know. yeah, and they're building it out. It's an area where the food trucks just stay, so that the food yeah trucks they don't move around. Yeah, they don't move they around. Just stay here. They're just in this courted area, mm -hmm. and they were starting to build it out, putting yeah. a uh, an indoor place where you could eat inside and have cocktails. Yep. Very axe throwing. They were axe really throwing. trying to yeah, build it out, and we were becoming yeah kind of friends with some of those. people. Yes, we were. <laughs> we were there quite a bit, and I don't know if we were going to talk about this or not, but one of them, the the bar, the place that I really liked. The barbecue the, the, Yeah, the noodle. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they they actually delivered. Oh, yeah, on DoorDash. <laughs> on oh, DoorDash, so dangerous. It was a problem. It was yeah, a problem. It was a real problem, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so we were there, as I mentioned, mid-December through the first week in um, January. Uh, again, we were there in the weather, bomb cycle, and atmospheric we extended, river. We actually extended this day. We did, We yeah. were going to leave um, go inland and, and, and start making our way a little bit inland, Um and because of what was going on with the weather at the time, uh, I, we just didn't want a chance getting into any snow, getting, you know, because we were going to have to go over some elevation. Um, we were going to be dropping around into like Mount Shasta area in California. It, it, we just didn't want to get into that. Nope. So we just pivoted and said, hey, let's just stay here. We did. I mean, at least we knew it was just going to get rain, although it did snow after we left. <laughs> <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> I mean, we were like, we look at the pictures of, of that. We were like, we, 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 we glad it. we got out of there. But yeah. yeah, we figured we were safer and it was just easier to just stay where we are, where we were, yeah. um, to avoid some of all that weather that was going on in the winter of last year. It was a crazy last time year. for weather, so yeah. crazy. Full hookups, yes, we had water, power, and sewer here, yep. 50 amp service, no problem with that. I have a leak at the pedestal, so it looks like there was something going on with the pedestal there. Yeah, I think I had a problem with one of the water hoses. I actually swapped out that hose. Mm -hmm. I think um, yeah, there might have just been the hose that gotten bad, so I did swap out the hose, mm -hmm. but um, but I don't think that was any fault of theirs. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. The next thing is the surface that we were on. This whole thing was basically a parking yeah, lot. Yeah, it's really a parking you lot. You know, they had the divided spaces, the numbered divided spaces, a little bit of, you know, like landscaping in between them, but it basically was a giant parking lot, so yeah. it was asphalt. Yeah. But it was right on the the bay. 
beautiful view. So you had a beautiful view. Yes, um, that is one thing that's very, very nice about this one. There was a weird thing about the way the, now, and I don't think it's weird, I think it's an Oregon thing, but the way that the, the, the spot itself kind of came down at the end, and when you saw the Class A's parked up on that, their wheels were like all up in the air. That was kind of a weird thing, but I think that's Oregon because of the drainage. Because remember, that was at Brookings too, I think, where you saw the, you know, the, the spot itself is not completely flat. There's like a little bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't decline know. at the end of it. Yeah. Um, access and road issues. Um, we're coming off of 101. Yeah, no problems. Yeah. No problems there. It was, yeah. it was easy to see. Yeah. Um, the road to turn in was yeah. easy. The the moving around the park was easy. So yeah. I think, you know, there were no issues with access and, and road issues. Yeah. And you'll see that from the opening video to this. You'll yeah. see how we came in. How we in, came in and how, how we open. parked. And yeah. 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 pretty much west coast standard they weren't like super wide or wasn't there wasn't anything like that they were staggered though so that was kind of thoughtful so you're not like right next to the neighbor looking right yeah. in their door so that was yep. kind of nice um uh, oh so the way this was laid out we were on the row that was right right next to the bay yeah we didn't have any rows of rvs in front of us so we were the right we were the row right? And then there was the bay. The bay, yeah. yeah. Now, the thing about that is um, this park is laid out in a way where it's just all spots. So if the whole thing is full and you want to get to the laundry, you got to walk all the way to the end of the thing oh. and all the way down. You know, there was no pass-through in the middle of the park for you to get to the propane, for you to get to the laundry. Now... We weren't there at a busy time, so yeah, it wasn't so we, crazy. So it was enough empty spaces because we don't cut through people's campsites. Because that's a uh, big no-no. <laughs> so, yeah. but thankfully, because it wasn't crowded, there right. was usually enough, you know, enough yeah. empty spots around us that we could get over to, like you said, the laundry, right. the propane, mm -hmm. whatever we need to pick up the mail, mm -hmm. whatever we needed. Because we were probably what was it? Probably two or three rows behind us between where the the um, office was yep. and where we were. Yep. Uh, Wi-Fi and cell service, uh, pretty typical. Yeah, um, I think we used we, the, used Starlink. we did use Starlink there. No obstructions, um, but, um, but yeah. we did have weather. Right. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like the cable on the Starlink broke. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I don't think it was the cable though. I think we thought it was the cable, oh. but it was a, the. I think Starlink had an outage. Oh okay. Um, and. They don't notify you. They, yeah, they didn't tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm call, I'm trying to send messages. If anybody's familiar with Starlink, you probably know that they're, they're okay with their customer service. You have to be pretty, pretty much open it, uh, you know, an, an email and yeah. Uh, and so all this time, I'm thinking that the cable had not had, had 
head malfunctioned because <laughs> there's enough information on that, that that leads you to believe that that can happen. Oh, so yeah. we ordered a new cable, and then it turned out, oh, no, it was a Starlink issue. They just had the power down. <laughs> <laughs> and, and these cables aren't cheap, so here you no. are buying a so, new cable. At least I have a spare now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, there's that. <laughs> laundry facilities. Um, the laundry facilities are very new. I mean, this whole thing is kind of new. This whole setup sort of new. I mean, I don't know how long it's been there, yeah, but it know. seems like it's new. They just keep it up well. Yeah, they keep it up very well. Nice and clean. Uh, commercial washers and dryers. Uh, the thing that was a little wonky is that they change the code on the door every Tuesday at 2 p.m., and there's no way for you to get that ahead of time. You actually have to walk into the office and get it. You can't call. you got to walk into the office, look her in the eye, and get the code. <laughs> oh, come on. Just tell me your code already. What is it? I am not giving you my code. Very nice. And yeah. then propane sales. Yep. So they had that. Pet friendly. Yes. Dog area and yeah. dog bags. And they and had friends. a dog area that was fenced in. It yep. wasn't that far from us. And nope. So they had a very kind of dog friendly yep. um, environment. Mm -hmm. um, good management. Selena, Wendy, Charlie, and Jim, all very helpful. Jim was probably the guy that helped you with the propane most of the time. Yeah, they were always, there was always, you know, good, good folks around to ask questions, to get help from, you know, the propane guys, like you said. You yeah. Know, it was just, you know, they were all very friendly and easy to work with. Yeah. The one thing I want to say about this one, though, um, and this is just came to mind for me, is, you know, when you drive into this park in this casino, you're just kind of driving into an open RV park and an open casino. There's not like there's a gate or anything like that mm -hmm. going into the RV park, so it's pretty open. And, and so security, you know, remember that night where I actually had to yeah. call the casino because there's like somebody in the parking yeah. lot of the RV park that's like, I don't know what they're doing in there. Yeah, we would, yeah, because, I mean, we're right off, you're right off the 101. Right off the 101. Is, you know, I mean, it's pretty, pretty populated, right? Yep. Um, but there was a couple of occasions, now that you recall, that, that there were, just seemed like there was weird activity on the RV park grounds. You know, cars drive the same car driving around, looping around. around, and it would be late at night. I mean, this would yeah. be like after midnight. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was a couple of things. I mean, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily it was a safety issue. It was just odd. We just never knew what was going on, or and it could have just been again people. I, I don't know. Maybe I can't even explain it. But yeah. Um, anyway, it was just something that I think might have just been due to the proximity to 101 yeah certainly something just to be aware of um and i was even i was not to interrupt you but there was even that big space there the dirt space where even 18 wheelers would pull over yeah and and rest you know overnight yeah because um, there was a big huge like dirt area adjacent to the rv park rv park yeah so there might be a, 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 a rv in there most like most of the time we saw uh, semi years. semi trucks in there so yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, it's 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 definitely a more urban feeling RV park. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. And and where we were situated, most of the time we didn't have any neighbors around us. So when you hear a car circling around, yeah. that's like, especially like you said, at late at night. It's like, what's that yeah, about? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. So um, I did. I called the the office, and it just transferred me straight into the casino, and then they sent somebody out. And I was going to say about that because I think you called most of the time mm -hmm. when you call you are going oh. to the casino to the casino right? yes and then so any kind of transaction you need to make with the rv, RV park, park you have to be very clear with the casino people who you wanted to talk who to. you need to talk to so that they could get you transferred over to the rv park because the rv park didn't seem to have a separate number i didn't like that <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I don't want to have to go through the casino every time. You know, you go through the casino operator and then she puts Especially you through. because you think you're getting the uh, RV. Half the so time, you, I would know, just you start would, talking to the person. And well, she's you like, would, oh, let me get you over to the RV well, park. Because you thought you were talking to the RV park. Right. Or somebody at the RV park. So anyway, so I that, didn't love that, that was something that was, that they're, they're, sharing, they're sharing the same uh, IVR system, I guess. Yeah. And, and there might even be a prompt that says for the RV park. It does. But the casino still answers. The casino still answers. <laughs> Nobody at that RV park answers. <laughs> yeah, I did not love that. That was, especially if it's an emergency or something like that. I didn't, I didn't really love that. <laughs> um, so number 14 is grocery nearby. Was there instant cart? There was a really, uh, yes, there was instant cart, which was very nice. That probably, I think Safeway, Fred Meyer, Natural Grocer were all hooked up to the instant cart. Um, I mentioned earlier earlier that we went over to the, uh, what is that, the 999 building for the Wednesday market, which was been a very nice farmer's market, and there was a, an art gallery in the back, oh, yeah. too, yeah, yeah. and that was really yeah. quite lovely. And then there was the uh, Coos Bay Co-op. So remember, that one was over by the hair shop, 
that was right next door to the place where we got our hair cut. That was the Coos Bay Co-op. That was very... You're like, really? Really? <laughs> I'm learning something new. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> you were there too, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the the grocery store, you know, the grocery store instant cart thing here was really quite yeah. nice. And yeah. the DoorDash. And I mean, DoorDash, you, you all, could of order, all of it was available there. Very, very convenient. Um, Remember so the liquor could, store was good there, too. Yeah. I forget what the, oh, the 101 liquor store. Remember we went in there? I've never well, had service We didn't like have that, that delivered. Oh, no, no. But, no. but it was available. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. had a nice, they, had, they just had a, a it was a really, because I don't think Coos Bay is, is that big. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have like a bunch of big box stores, yeah, which is nice. But they had a, 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 an ample amount of choices from restaurants and, yeah. like you said, grocery. Yeah. Um, things that you could that would could be delivered. So yeah. that was that was kind of nice. It, it was con very convenient because nice. because yeah. it, it did rain here quite a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't grill out when it's raining. No. You know, I mean, maybe people that are used to this kind of weather are used to this, but we like to. Grill well, remember out. that one? Remember just a little side. Remember the one couple that we met that lived stayed, up the hill. Stayed outside. They the stayed outside all the time. He, all the time. They, 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 he brought it. He had his TV out. He had, actually had a TV. He had a TV. A regular TV. Because he didn't Not have part one. Of his RV. It wasn't part yeah. of the RV. He yeah. had a TV out there, a table out there, bundled up, grilling outside all, all the, time. the time. But yeah. they lived. They were literally lived in the area. They so they were literally, used to it. They, so I guess they were used to it. Yeah. But we, we were not. We were not outside. Yeah, we were buttoned up. <laughs> yeah. So nearby supplies like Camping World, Ace Hardware, Harbor Freight, True Value. Um, there was a Tower Ford. And we yeah, because I think we had board. some service done there. There was an Ace Hardware and Fars Hardware. There was a Harbor Freight. Har there was an RV repair and supplies right there right on 101. The yep. Yeah, near the, near the uh, I don't know what that says, but yeah. Near the Ford. <laughs> near yes. the Ford, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just good to know where these things are. You know, if you're going to be in an area, you just need to know. I mean, because we have a Ford, so of course we always, you know, yes. are looking out for Fords. But, always. But, yes. um, yeah, so that was convenient. Yeah. So here's another little tip on the fact that this is tied to a casino. This is the mail service and delivery. The thing about the mail service is that it went to the casino. It didn't come to the RV park. Right. So it went to the casino, and depending on their schedule, they would bring it over to the RV park. And then if it was the weekend, then they didn't bring it to the RV park. So that was a little... And I mean, suffering. they had a full-blown office full at the office. RV park. So, yeah. I mean, they even had some... I think they even had some merchandise in there, some RV supplies. Merch. Yes. So, yeah, so it was just interesting, the relationship between the RV park and the casino and kind yeah. of how they were kind of sharing, you know, some of the, the yeah. work there. Or, yeah. You know, or having the casino handle a lot of that so i mean these are just things to know right because if you go into the rv park making an assumption about we never make assumptions about mail because we're full-time we need to be able to get our mail yes. <laughs> right and so you know and even if you're full-time you may just go in you know not really thinking about how these things work and this one was very different from between three and four money through friday only is when you would get the mail <laughs> yeah um but no issues as far as the carriers it no. was usps ups no, we didn't have FedEx, any issues getting of any, of the, any of our mail yeah. delivered special moments special moments we had a lot of them the first one was the birthday afternoon tea <laughs> and bay point landing at um so the afternoon tea was in florence oregon yes yes and that was her birthday and that was very that was fun that yeah. was that was that was a, a treat for sure yeah um and then the bay point landing we stayed we stayed in the airstreams very fun so that was a lot of fun we just you know we're just checking it out we yeah. were thinking about an airstream you know we again as we think we about kind it. of downsizing <laughs> you know we want to make sure we cover all of our our, yeah. our 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 bases yeah so we had an opportunity to stay in, in an airstream yeah so that was super fun we so went fun. up to the florence did the afternoon tea then came back and then stayed it was two nights i think, I think it's two airstream. nights in the airstream and this bay point landing not to be doing a campground review about them but <laughs> they, that is a lovely campground and if we're back in this area and if again, we're back in this area we would be all would about probably it probably stay there yeah because they had a food truck on site they had a big scrabble wall they just had some different amenities amenities at inside yeah. pool you know you could walk out by the bay it was super lovely yeah, yeah super lovely we would totally stay there next time uh we did christmas here um and on christmas we went out to the oh shore acres yeah that's what it was called. that's what it was called shore acres and the christmas lights we yeah, went out christmas and saw that yeah some more <laughs> you're like yeah yeah, yeah, shore yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> 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 uh, it's hilarious and then new year's day on new year's day we drove to the tiny tranquility 
place in Walport. Tiny Homes, yeah, in yes. Walport. We went up to see that because that's another thing that we're thinking about is Tiny Homes. So tiny we went home. up there. Yeah. We spent a little time in Yachitz, uh, which is a little city that's nearby there. We also went to, I'm pretty sure this is the same day. We did a lot on New Year's Day. We also went to the Darlingtonia State Park and saw those. Oh, yeah, we saw the those, Darlingtonia. Those, those carn carnivorous plants. Yes which was super interesting. We'll put some photos of that. <laughs> if you're familiar with the Venus flight trap, it's that same idea, but it looks different. Yes. Um, we did the sea lions. We looked at some, we looked at some of the sea lions before this, but on New Year's yeah. Day, we did some more. And then- They have these uh, sculptures right around town. Yes. Around, around a, a few of the towns, right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and they're painted and by they're artists. painted by yeah. artists. Very cool. We took some pictures of those. We went to, we got we to We got all, to most, almost all of them. There was 11 of them. Two. No, there was 15 and we got to 13 Wait, of them. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. So. Yeah. And then we went to a farmer's market here too. Oh, that's the same farmer's market, the Wednesday market. And yeah. then um, I found a dentist. You did find a dentist because you had a little, a little tooth issue. A little tooth <laughs> issue, yeah. You know, another thing I'll say here and about we the, found a good vet. We, we found a good vet. Oh, my gosh. We had a little, we had a little we Charlie had a little issue. Pookie issue, yes. <laughs> yeah. And I found a reference to I was looking for an art class, and so I met Josie and asked her about a uh, uh, watercolor class, but she referred me to Jenna Rainey, who's got this amazing YouTube channel. And so I've been following Jenna Rainey for my, uh, my art cool. teaching and watercolor. Yeah. So that's been very good. That was very special. Top three, bottom three for the Mill Casino. Hey, um, well, it's, it's right on the bay. Yeah. So it had some great views. Um, it is very well maintained, like we were saying. There's always somebody running around on a golf cart or somebody <laughs> that you need, if you need some help. And yeah. the folks in the office were very nice. Yeah. Um, and then it was also a great central kind of location for checking out things in yeah. the area. I mean, it was great kind of central point to go. I mean, we did a lot of stuff, so it was yeah. a, a great point to do that from. Yeah. A few, there was more than three bottom threes here, but <laughs> the first one I have is the morning firing squad. Yeah. There was a weird thing, you know, you get to an RV park, you're settled in for the first night, you get up the next day and you're like, what is that noise? Why does it sound like there's a firing squad? Well, it, there's like a, it was like a stuck season. It was hunting season. We didn't know that. We didn't though. know that. We were like, what is the shooting? And, Who's and so been shot? <laughs> across the bay, there was, yeah. I don't know if it was an island or it was something. That, it sounded know. like it was on that barge thing, but yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. And I think it was just hunting season. Yeah. So we were hearing early hunters. Um, shooting and yeah so we didn't know that at first nobody tells you that when you check in <laughs> yeah but that sound you hear in the morning is the duck hunting nobody's yeah. being shot yeah, so. uh, on that note um the, the 5-0 rolled through there or the police rolled through the park you know a time or two and we're like even when we were in Olathe when that happened I'm like why is the police why are the yeah. police in and the I, park? I think it's and I actually think even because I've seen it here too where we currently are I, I think it's just security I think it's just security just I think it's I peace. think it's just a, it's just a town trying to make sure there's nothing happening over in the RV park oh, so okay, I well, think that's good all right um so the casino and the um, RV park and the RV park kind of what we were talking about the disconnect with how they manage things um, and again, it's it's really just a parking lot. It's, it really it's, is. It's truly a parking lot. Yeah. Um, and then um, and then we're right on the 101. So you know if that if that's gonna bother you, the noise, you know you might want to consider someplace else. But it, it really is right off the the, the 101 there. <laughs> Bay Point Landing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to stay there. Yeah, we need to stay but, there. But, we'll we, but we did really like that if we were. I mean, we stayed two nights in the Airstream, but we would want to be there in our RV right, to right. see how we exactly. liked it. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I just put here, I mean, this is kind of the point we've already made about the security, the police, you know, and just the whole random thing there. That I don't know. It's just something to note, something for you to know when you do your research. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down for this park. We base this on the full hookups, on the road and access issues, and the lot spacing. Would we give this? Oh, we forgot to do a paw up for Pookie. Is he oh, awake? Yeah. He, oh, would, he would give it a paw. Up. <laughs> <laughs> and we would give this a and thumbs we would give up it a thumbs from those up. perspectives. From, from that perspective. Yeah, from these perspectives, we would absolutely I mean, do that. And, yeah. I'll, and I'll just the caveat that is if you're looking for something less urban, 
this is probably um, this not, probably not yeah. the place you'd want to yeah. be. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're looking for a more rural, camping. Know, kind of camping kind of trees feel, and trees and that type of thing, this is definitely not that. Not that. No, this is not that. Um, this but, is a place to park, and if you love but, a casino, it's perfect. Right, for that. and if you have a big rig, you, it's, it's you comfortable. Big rig, it's very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Couple of shout outs. Uh, we went to the Espresso Mill Bakery drive-through yeah, for coffee and pastries yeah, every weekend. Uh, we didn't get a frequent <laughs> flyer card, but we could have had one. We should have had one. Uh, we went to Empire Dome. Donuts, which was a very old school donut place, known for its donuts. It, I had it, the. It made our, our. It made our awards. Our awards. We'll link that yes, video. we will link that video. That was the best apple fritter I've ever had in my life. And we just <laughs> and have to we give a. the food trucks. We on front. did, but we want to give a special, a special shout out to Amy. Special shout out to Amy. <laughs> yes. yes, and she's on the sweet waffle truck in that little food court. Yes. She was phenomenal. Yes. We got a chance to know her. We came over there a few times yeah. and just really, really enjoyed meeting her. And we're following her on Instagram. Yes, yes. I think she's starting a YouTube. YouTube channel. And oh, is she really? I thought I was right. Oh, oh yeah. nice. All right. All right. Well, that, well, you know what? When we think about our impression, this is kind of. So, yeah, this was our last. This was. Oh, actually, it's, well, this, well, it's not our last one. It yeah. just wraps up the year. So. It, what it wraps uh, up is. Um, what does it wrap up? It doesn't wrap up it anything. Wrap up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, it wraps up this video. <laughs> yes, it does. So, <laughs> on that note. This was the review of the Mill Casino at RV Park. <laughs> uh, and we'll, I think, oh, and we were in uh, Coos Bay. We were in Coos Bay, North, North, Bend. North Bend, Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. Yes. <laughs> so I think on that note, if you've been there, let us know. Yeah, let us know. If let you've us been know there, what you thought. Of the area. Maybe you like the area. area. Maybe you like the RV Park. Did, did you, you gamble? Did you gamble? Did you go to the casino? They have events at the casino. Yes, did you go over did. to the Sweet Waffle Truck? <laughs> did you say hi to Amy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. All right. Yeah, yeah, this was a lot of stuff we did. It was we a great did. time. It was we a good time. Yeah, we had a good yeah, time there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. despite the way the rain. Despite the rain, we yeah. had a good time. And if we go back to the area, would we go back to this one or would we go to Bay Point Lane? We will go to Bay Point Lane. <laughs> Then, but again, we give us a thumbs up. We give us a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you all for hanging in here yes. and, and chuckling along with us. Um, hopefully, you got some information from this. If there's anything that you learned here, or if anything that you did at this casino, or if you're planning to stay at this casino, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. We'll see you at the next stop. Bye.